one. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Woman's Cave Possibly Writer's Class podcast, because we have four. Yeah, so you know how we always do now that it's COVID and we, we created more stuff, because that's what we do. And so we're all just like women's cave ladies tale we don't know you know we just we just throw we just throw oh, beginnings out there we just doing this today winona winona jade. what are you doing jade what are By you the doing way, she's jade and i will no wait, no! wait. <laughs> yes Go, okay yes, it's I late win! it's late in the evening and you're right you did win so high five on winning thank you i, I give it to you social distance style y'all because you know what covid out here no don't, don't we touch people's hands don't do it don't don't touch their hands okay, okay. Go ahead. You can introduce yourself. I, I, yeah, I'm Jake. Yeah, you know what? It might be that chair. You might have. You might. I might be right about the chair, and I'm well known. Oh, oh my goodness! And we I don't know. Wrote, we're gonna I, keep it short. I, we do write books, although, like, man, today has been an interesting day. We wrote literary life guides. Yeah, pop we're poetry. pop poetry. Yeah, well, um, you know, some people might call them poetry anthologies, and we only say that now because we had a number one on Amazon and poetry anthologies, the new one. So it's. The woman's cave, the woman's cave. Yeah, I'm about to just yeah, make it up. And other cave. pop po- No, I was about to say cocktail floors and MVP. <laughs> the woman's cave, uh, and other pop poems, a misfit guide. I don't exactly. know what I was doing. We have so, so many titles so of books, the y'all. The book was cocktail sporays in the LVD. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's so probably she was because be like the woman's cave cocktails. And I was like, that's the next book because it's evening. Because it's evening, right? And I'm thinking cocktails, right? Right? Everyone should, and I thought being grown up was easy. And I thought the world was bad. <laughs> and if only I would meet a memoir in verse. Yes, y'all, we did say a memoir in verse, which really means like in poetry, but we were just trying to be like, we're super dope. So that's what we were trying to do. Okay, you guys, I, I want to show you something really quick. Okay, yeah. So, so this is our bathing suit because we're wishing it was still summer that we made out of our book titles. So we now have the official first garment from our clothing line. Yeah, out of our book titles, y'all. Because you know what? You left creatives in a house for Wait, too long. Tom. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, so you can check out everything you ladies are doing on www.andwethought.com. But you want to hear to hear about us. Continue to talk on and on and be warm. No one, no one wants that. If you, you wanted to do that, you could listen to our entire media page, which no, no, don't. don't. I mean, do but don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're here to hear from our wonderful guests. Wonderful guests, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, um, I'm Melody Carlisle. I am one half of the Heaving Bosoms podcast. And um, let's see, one thing about me, you said? One to three. Yeah, wait, one wait. to three. Um, I'm a former sex uh, ed lady. I'm, I'm a former sex educator. Uh, I'm a raging feminist. And uh, I love romance. I love there you it. Go. Wow. And I love her voice when she said it. Ah. Like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> podcasting voice right there. Like that. I need to like take some classes or something. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you've actually listened to the podcast, about 60% is me just cackling maniacally. So, you know, it's really a mixed bag. <laughs> so we're missing when the other half. Can you tell us a little bit about the other half of, of heaving bosoms? Yeah. So the other half is my best friend, Erin. She lives in Alaska and I live in New Jersey. And so um, we started the podcast really so that we had an excuse to stay in touch. We've we've pretty much always been long distance friends. Um, and so the podcast started because we wanted a way to like definitely talk once a week and have accountability and like create something together. And we both love romance. So yeah, she's in Alaska and she's the best. She's the actual best. She's my almost polar opposite and uh, we work really well i just love her <laughs> absolutely no we, we totally get it like so people ask us oh so you so jade and winona y'all must read the same kind of books i'm like no. if i love it it's almost a hundred percent guaranteed there's only like two or three books that we absolutely agree on we really don't uh-huh. agree on the same television shows although we currently agree on baby yoda Although I, not Baby Yoda, Yoda is the baby Mandalorian something gruel or something. We don't care. It's okay. Baby Yoda. It's gonna be. <laughs> it's, it's Baby, baby Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I we get being total opposites and, and still. still making it work. Oh yeah, I think it makes it better. Honestly, you don't want two of me. It'd be a nightmare. Ugh, it'd be terrible. <laughs> okay, it'd so be so much. To... <laughs> we need to go down a rabbit hole because you said Jersey. <gasps> yeah, said yeah, yeah. And we're in Maryland and like jersey diners. diners like diners like 
We need to talk about dining room chairs. I mean, I haven't seen one in 15 years, but wow. they're great. <laughs> like it feels like I've never been to a diner before because it's been so long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, love a diner. We have uh, yeah. we have a couple in town that I really really like. But are they doing curbside? So maybe we could just pick up some food. Actually, one of the diners in town started doing something really super smart at like the beginning of lockdown. They they were one of the first to um set up in the um in the parking lot right next to them and they they literally just started doing barbecue on the side of the like on in the parking lot by the it was amazing. So yeah, they genius. Okay. Yeah, it was so great. Like they basically don't have their normal menu anymore because so much diner food is fried. And so they just start, they, they revamped into barbecue and it's fabulous. Oh, that yeah. sounds so good. So I'm yeah. telling you, like. I almost want to drive up. No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> it's just, it. so don't travel. We're just, <laughs> we're just home. Wait, wait, we really can't. Did you guys know that Pennsylvania is locked down? Like people can't go in or come out. Yeah, I'm glad. Good job, Pennsylvania. Yeah, like they, like, yeah, we woke so, up one morning yeah. and they were like, our borders closed in 24 hours. We were like, oh, Great. oh, we actually, and we go grocery shopping in Pennsylvania. So we, oh, no. we got in the car and ran <laughs> we, on the way, on the way up. We were ordering it online. Like, let me just, let me just, yeah, it's like hours, so it'll be done by the time we get there. <laughs> anyway, I love it. We'd love to come visit for that barbecue, though. Oh, Is it any good? It's so good. It's very good. Yeah. Oh, oh man. I miss Jersey diners. Like, I, I just, I just miss them. Like, I just miss them. Well, I think everybody misses food, travel, airplanes, people. Well, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I have not heard anyone complain about the fact that they um, miss putting on clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've sort of, def um, I've sort of designed my life so that I never have to be out of yoga pants. And it's kind yeah. of amazing. Like, it is. Yeah. It is. It okay. is kind of amazing. Okay. Let's we talk about your podcast. back to your podcast. How did sure. you it? And say say that again. He talked about how it got started, but then how did you decide on heaving bosoms first of all? Oh, yeah. And then how did you decide like you're gonna talk romance book? Well, like I said, Aaron and I are pretty much polar opposites. Um, the things we have in common are uh, speech. We 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 did competitive public speaking in college. We uh, she's sort of witchy, and I like dabble in witchiness, but I certainly can't talk about it every week all the time. Um, but one thing that we really do have in common is reading romance. So um, we went through everything. I was like, maybe a true crime. And she was like, I'm not doing a true crime. There are so many. And when we started, there was one, basically. When we started, it was just smart bitches, trashy books. And within two weeks of us starting, like Wicked Wallflowers Club started. And then since then, there's sort of been like this boom of romance podcasts. But when we started there, there was just the one. So um, yeah, it was, it was really great. I had the idea for the podcast. I, well, so we were like, what can we do with romance? And um, we thought about doing a podcast where like we invite authors to you know interview them or whatever and then we were like how how could we get people to come talk to us for no reason and also like the scheduling so um we settled on recapping books together and heaving bosoms was first out the gate the name like i i think it was three o'clock in the morning and i couldn't sleep because i was so excited about this project and i was just like what about heaving bosoms and then um we went through different we were like, what about um, slap, slap, kiss? Because that's that's like a trope, you know, like one character, uh, the other character, uh, and then they're just, uh. so we thought about that, but that's more of a TV trope than it is a book trope. Um, and yeah, so we just stuck with heaving bosoms and I think it served us well. I really like it. it I I think it indicates that we're kind of fun. <laughs> it does. It does. And, and that's why we asked you to come on. We were like, anybody that names their podcast heaving <laughs> bosoms yeah. are people we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> we need to know these people. Yeah. And I'm so happy that you said yes. Yes. So sure. what has been oh, like yeah. your favorite recap so far? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm notoriously, notoriously bad at favorites. Oh, this is really hard. I think maybe one of my favorites of late has been, um, strange love by Anne Aguirre. 
it's a, uh, it's a two-parter and we go through that novel and that novel was really cool because it was, um, it's an alien romance where, um, the alien like is actually an alien. He's sort of like bug like, and it was really cool to talk about like how they end up having sex and pleasuring each other and, um, and having a relationship when their anatomy is so different. Mm -hmm. So that was really, really fun. And I, I just, I love that hero. He's like a big giant dream boat. And, um, I think that the heroine barrel, like, I think I would, I think I would be a barrel in that situation. You know, every time she made a decision, I was like, yep, that checks out. That's how I would do it too. <laughs> I love so, that checks out. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's so yeah, that was a fun one. That that's amazing. That is so amazing. So I just want to talk a little bit about how did you market your podcast or did it just take off because it took off? organically it was very organic yeah so um Aaron and I are nobodies in the romance world when we started we didn't know that romance landia existed like like romance on the internet we didn't realize that was like a thing and um yeah it was it was really organic so we started we started putting out episodes um and then it was basically like you know instagram facebook staying consistent was really important because i think that people subscribe more that way when they realize like new podcasts are always touch and go because people don't actually realize the work that goes into them and so they'll do three episodes and then they're like oh god this is i thought this was going to be like a fun side project and no it's taking 20 hours out of my week um but yeah, so marketing at first was just um, like social media. And then we, I think we also, we decided to support Smart Bitches Trashy Books and we sponsored one of her episodes, Sarah Wendell's. Um, and so we took out an ad on her podcast and um, then it's really been very, very organic. Nice. Yeah. Wait, now that I know that she does, does she still do it? Yeah. <laughs> does she want some pop filler? she does yeah 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 i mean yeah she does ads we do ads a lot of the podcasts out there do ads oh that's yeah lovely. yeah we should probably do ads. No, we're not. No, we're not. i was like we just said that and then it was just one of those moments where we were like we like everybody that? that's involved what did she just say she said there's a ton of work to do a podcast and i'm like yeah it is so no ads I don't have to figure out how to put ads you, in you yeah. it, and I've been laughing it up because I was like, I know she doesn't mean it at all. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give anyone who's trying to do a podcast besides the, the work? Like, or, yeah, man. Would it be yeah, like, get what? your best friend involved? <laughs> oh, wait. So I couldn't quite hear you. You said, what's my advice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Well, we always say, Aaron coined this, and it's the truest thing in the whole wide world. The secret ingredient is love. Like, don't start a project that you're not super passionate about because you're going to drop it. And you should. Your life is worth more than those hours that you're going to spend doing something you don't like, especially if it's a side hustle. Um, so, yeah, definitely base it on something that you love. Uh, I think that podcasts are also longer lasting and um, it's easier to grow a fan base instead of like instead of starting a project maybe on something that you really dislike like if you go into something being like I my podcast is I am going to make fun of this thing like I it's very very rare unless you're the um how did this get made people <laughs> like it's gonna be tough to make that happen you know so um my biggest piece of advice is stick with what you love Nice. I love good it. advice. I'm love stealing it. that. So when someone goes, what did you think about your podcast? I'm like, we stuck with what we love. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to stop here like that. I First of all, do. you love to write. You love to talk about um, business. You love to talk to, ra it's like to random people. Yeah, to sure. random people. We love it. It's like one of the best things ever to just sit in the bar and talk to people. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Hey their life story what's going on with that absolutely nothing like writing like you have a whole bunch of fodder for writing so um point. the author interviews you decided no oh i was so sad yeah so we decided no and actually um i mean but also like when we started i was like what is sound equipment how do i microphone 
what is editing? You know, how do anything? So adding another piece to that, like reaching out to authors and scheduling and doing all of that, like that was such a pipe dream. And it was something that, um, that I, it, it, I did not have the bandwidth for. So, um, and then we, we have done two straight up interviews. We've interviewed Tessa Dare and Sarah McLean. And those were so, so fun. It was amazing to get to chat with those ladies. But I realized that we were sort of, um, we were recreating content a lot of times with another one of the podcasts that we really love. Wicked Wallflowers Club is a romance podcast with two, um, one is an author of a memoir and the other one, is, they're both aspiring romance novelists. And they will um, interview romance novelists about the craft and writing and all the good things out there and their books and everything. So when those, when our two interviews came out, I realized that, that we were sort of duplicating because Tessa Dare and Sarah McLean were also on Wicked Wallflowers Club. So instead we have authors on and, and quite a bit, but instead of doing a traditional interview, we'll start with like chatting with them about what's new, you know, what do you have out? What are you thinking about? Whatever you want. And then we have them choose either a movie or a book that they want to recap with us. So they're essentially like a guest host of Heaving Bosoms. We're still doing what Heaving Bosoms does. And we're giving the authors the opportunity to let the audience get to know them in a different way. You know, because movies and books and and um, things that we're recapping a lot of times elicit stories that wouldn't come up in a, a normal interview where we're just talking about the latest release. So that's been really, really fun. And I think that that's definitely um, where we're going to stay with authors. Like next week we have a, um, we're recapping, we just recorded it last week and um, we're recapping Operation Christmas Drop with uh, Christina Lauren. And it's, it was so fun to record with them. So yeah, we have all authors on now, but it's just different. That's fabulous. So where can people find from your, find out your wonderful oh, podcast? Well, no, no, you know. What's what up? Saying. No, ask, ask a question. It's fine. <laughs> we have a line to get to. Yes. Do you ever think that you're going to go from reader to writer? Me? No. Aaron needs to. Okay. Aaron is a really, really, really talented author and she's written like actual books that just sit and she doesn't show anyone like she's written whole novels that she refuses to show anyone so I've been working on her for a long time I am not going to be um a romance novelist I um I'm not ruling out any other kind of writing um like I've got I've got a pretty good knack for um for like you know, comedy writing and um, nonfiction, like memoir stuff. I I did that in college. Um, but what I'm most excited about is um, doing more audiobook narration. Fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Um, I did one one book over um, over quarantine. Actually, it was my first one, and it was it was so fun. It was basically my dream come true. Um, so yeah, hopefully in the future I'll I'll get to do that more. Oh, we all love right. it. We look forward to listening to yeah. all these yeah. audio books. <laughs> yes, indeed. I love me an audio book. It's a wonderful thing. So oh, I love them. Don't you love them? Mm -hmm. Don't you love them? Like you can do other things and still be reading a book. Yeah, <sighs> it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and them. if anybody wants to know more about like audiobook narration and stuff like that, you should check out the Audibly Addicted podcast. They're really good. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. See, I love that she has all of these podcasts ready. Like, I feel like she had post-it notes or something. Uh, no. <laughs> Probably not. I just, I just wanted no. to make myself feel better. Because, you know, honestly, sometimes I have post -it. Honestly, it's just because Romance Landia is such a wonderful place. And, like, I, I've become friends with these people, you know? So it's been really, really nice because, overall, the community is really welcoming. And they're really, really supportive. So we just we just like to lift each other up so yeah <laughs> that is fabulous so where can people find out your podcast find out more about both of you so um our website is um heavingbosoms.com very simple and then we're on all the, so the socials um instagram is at heavingbosoms 
Uh, Twitter is at heaving underscore bosoms. And then we're on any platform that you can get podcasts. So Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, Overcast, P- Pod Stitcher. No, Stitcher. Stitcher. There's Podbean. a bunch of them. Podbean. Yeah. Podbean. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're going for. Thank you so much for coming on and like taking away from your downtime. To oh, my, my it. pleasure. This was really nice. I was ex- really excited to get your email. So thank you. I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I know, right? That's amazing. All right. So I guess I'll go ahead and wrap this up. Yes, you can find please. out everything your ladies are doing on www.anyweedthought.com. While you're there, take a moment, go check out the homepage and see the wonderful new things that we have going on, especially the Ladies Tale podcast where professional authors, mm, authors, actors read well known as script, blog, and, and other wonderful interviews on there also. But more importantly than all of that, please go to the Ladies tab, go to the middle and see the charities that we probably support. Maybe you can support them too. And if it's just with a good thing that says, hey, y'all, thank you for email email or saying, hey, y'all, thank you for doing this wonderful work in the world. We really appreciate it. And just remember, wisdom is all around you. If you're open to finding it and accepting it. See? But I'm not the only one. (laughs) If you're open to finding it and accepting it. Because we can love you guys from well, no, no. NJ, bye-bye. Oh, yeah, thanks for listening.